People don't know what they truly want. They're just, they've just got goals. Oh, this sounds good. Let me write it down. They sometimes go one step further and actually write it out in key detail, which is the worst thing because then you actually, well, the worst case is you actually achieve the goal and then realize that wasn't important to me. And I've just done this for, you know, maybe to impress a few other people. But the truth is, focus on goals that are truly important to you. This is going to help you out massively. So do, be, and have. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Falcon YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and you've been enjoying the content. So you probably would have seen the last few episodes was around the conference. So I hope you took a lot of value from that. And just recapping on that actually, what an insane day that was. People from all over the world, the speakers, Jimmy and Steven, and the coaches, the whole team, students in the community that got out of the comfort zone and got on stage for the first time. Honestly, it was just, just incredible. It, it really was. So reflecting on that day, it's really sunk in how good that was. So for those who didn't, couldn't make it the first time, we're going to be having more, and we do think that it's going to be a, a great blueprint for us moving forward. And honestly, it was such an incredible day. I'm just going to grab a coffee, guys. Yeah, so quick coffee break. But essentially, yeah, the day was just, it was insane. It really was. And honestly, just the impact that was made on that day, that's, that's going to stay with us forever. And I do believe it's a blueprint moving forward of, of how we can really get people out of their comfort zone, being around like-minded people. So it was just insane. Quick tips. So for those of you that have probably just watched that, it should be out. It would have been out for about a week at this point. So I hope you took a lot of value from that Falcon community. If you haven't already checked it out, go and check out the rest of Quick Tips Season 3. I honestly believe the content that me and the coaches have been working on, those four episodes, is really going to bridge the gap towards consistency. So make sure you take a lot of notes on that. And if you have taken value from that, let me know in the comments. So more about this video. So what's this video going to be about? Well, essentially, I've been very head down focused the last pretty much two to three weeks. Yeah, two to three weeks. Very head down focused on content. And I was thinking about where we are right now because we're pretty much at that six month part. So we're just about to move into the last six months of the year. And I thought this would be a perfect time to share with you some practical steps that you can do right now to make sure that you're focusing on goals that are most important to you. Because the worst thing that you can do is waste time. Essentially, I think we can all agree, time is the most precious commodity we have. And the worst thing you can do is actually waste your time focusing on goals that are just not actually important to you. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it on the whiteboard in a minute when I get back to the office and I'm going to break it down how you can focus and prioritize the most important things to you. So I'll see you in the office. Make sure you've got a pen and paper and you're ready to take some notes. Right guys, so behind me, I have something that it's in my book. So for those of you who have read the book, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So 10 things that you want to do, be, and have. See, like I was saying previously, the worst thing you can do is actually spend a lot of your time focusing on goals that are not important to you. Because sometimes we focus on goals just because they sound good. They sound good in the moment, but when you think hard enough, you think it's not that important to me. So what is the best way you can actually figure that out? Well, one simple step you can do straight away, which is why I want to give this to you all because it's practical, something you can do instantly, is focus on 10 things that you want to do, be, and have. Now, what's going to happen is that you're going to think this is pretty easy. You're going to think you're going to write this out very, very fast, but I can almost guarantee you, you'll start writing out a few things and then you might get stuck. That's normal. Now, if it takes you two hours, if it takes you four hours, if it takes you two days, it doesn't matter. Get it done. Because once you get it done, you start to really think about, right, this is important to me. And don't be surprised if you start writing things out and you'll get to the point where you think, do you know what? That's actually not as important to me as I thought. And you might cross it out, for example. That's okay. Because then you're thinking, you're, you're not now setting goals based off of what you think is going to impress other people. You're setting goals based off what's in alignment with your core values, which is the most important thing. That's where you're truly inspired. That's your purpose. That's your passion. So I encourage you to do this. So essentially, let's talk it through. So we focus on do, be, and have. Now, we're at a point which you need to understand that we're moving into the last six months. Where do you want to be six months from now? When you get to December, do you want to be in the same position or do you want to know that you've put the work in and you've focused on goals that are truly important to you? Let's get into it, do, be, and have. So what do we have here? So for example, just a few things that we've got that you can do. Climb Everest, for example, run a marathon. 
teach English in Japan. It could be anything. Moving on to B. So we could be focusing on being more confident at public speaking, being more organized, an advanced piano player, could be an advanced guitar player, punctual, a full-time trader. These are things that you can be, things you can focus on that you really wanna be. And the key, the key thing is, is that we, if we always focus on have, 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 and have, you'll end up wanting things. And if you just constantly want things, you'll feel unfulfilled because you'll get it because you think the thing that you're looking for, let's say if it is a supercar, you'll get the supercar and you think the supercar is gonna make you happy. And once you get it, you realize that doesn't make me happy. But by focusing on do, be, and have, you hit all areas. That's the key thing. So then going to have at this last point, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have materialistic goals. I have materialistic goals. That's fine, but to only focus on them will leave you feeling unfulfilled. So have property portfolio, for example. Rolex could be a Patek, could be anything could be five income streams, Lamborghini, Ferrari, whatever car it may be. So the goal is, for the next six months, you wanna have 30 goals, right? You might think, well, that's quite a lot. Well, essentially, the reason why you write out 10 things you wanna do, be, and have, you're gonna have 30 goals. Then what I want you to do is go through these and really think about it, really take the time, because this is important, this is your life at the end of the day, whether it's for your, you know, your family or just wanting to be, have a better life. This is your one shot, so don't waste that time. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit there and think, if I had to pick three out of the 10 that you come up with, what are the three most important things out of do? What are the three most important things out of be? And the same for have. And what you're gonna do, you can do it on a whiteboard, you can do it on a pen and paper, whatever it may be, and then just go along and then just star it. Just star it for now. And just star what you want. Might start this. You might start this, for example, etc. And you work your way through. And essentially, what you're going to come up with is your top three. You're going to have three things for do, three things for be, three things for have. So you're going to have nine goals. Now, the most important thing here is that these nine goals, you're going to feel so good. You're going to feel incredible because you're going to have clarity. You're going to have gone through the 30 goals, do, be, and have. Then you're gonna have your top three out of each thing. Then you're going to know that you're spending your time for the next six months on nine goals that are gonna push you closer and closer towards becoming the best version of yourself, hitting all areas. This is so simple, yet people don't do it. People don't know what they truly want. They're just, they've just got goals, oh, this sounds good. Let me write it down. They sometimes go one step further and actually write it out in key detail, which is the worst thing because then you actually, with the worst case is you actually achieve the goal and then realize that wasn't important to me. And I've just done this for, you know, maybe to impress a few other people. But the truth is, focus on goals that are truly important to you. This is going to help you out massively. So do, be, and have. I would love to know in the comments section how you get on. If you do it, what are your goals? If you want to share them with us, feel free. And again, guys and girls, I really hope you've enjoyed this exercise. It's very practical, but I wanted to keep this video short and sweet. Give you something that you can take away from this and just start implementing every day. If you haven't seen already the other video on daily goals, if you're thinking of a way that you can track these goals, just a simple metric is to utilize five daily goals. Just think about when you've got your nine goals, the three, 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 think about what are the small five things I can do today, just for today, five, five goals that is going to move me closer towards that goal. I promise you. December, you're going to want to thank yourself knowing that you stuck to your word. Do yourself a favor. Time is precious. Spend it wisely. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let me know your number one takeaway in the comments. I'd love to know. And again, if there's any other types of content that you would like us to create that you feel that's gonna help you out, let me know. And we're always open to suggestions. Have an incredible week. I'll speak to you all soon.